So, I am on my third remake of the Maxis families. We've done the goths, we've done the calientes, and now by popular demand, we are gonna be doing the pancakes. So, let's read a little bit about the pancakes before we get into them. Poor, poor Bob and Eliza. Have they ever been happy? It seems like there's just nothing that they can do to please the other. Just what is keeping this couple together? Or conversely, what is the spark that will finally drive them apart? So... EA kind of seeming like they're low-key want to break this couple apart. I don't know. We're going to be giving them a complete Claire Siobhan CC makeover today. Will their new appearances be enough to make the other one be attracted back and show a little bit more love in the marriage? Maybe. Though you, you wouldn't underestimate the power of CC if you think that can't happen. And uh, as we are loading in to giving them a little bit of a CC makeover, let's go ahead and check out some of the lore behind these guys. So let's start with Bob Pancakes. Now, he was actually described in a sims trailer as being the least interesting sim in the world so he's kind of like this very blah sim his traits are slob gloomy and loner which is obviously quite like a difficult set of traits for another person to live with although he does want to become a master chef and he does have the essence of flavor so maybe he can show his love through cooking and the traits are actually one of the reasons that their um marriage is you know potentially an unhappy one and they apparently also sleep in different bedrooms which i think we saw when we um when i did dream house decorator i decorated the house and gave them two separate bedrooms so that is bob and then we've got eliza pancakes as well now she is materialistic neat and a perfectionist also business savvy with the aspiration mansion barons so they are incredibly different people she's much more driven well yeah i'd say she's much more driven and much more like uh she cares deeply about like you know a house being neat being perfect buying nice things for a house whereas he's kind of a slob that's kind of the opposite of that so it seems like she wants to become a self-employed artist but she's not there yet she does have some of the fitness skill and i don't know they're just kind of a little bit of a sad couple aren't they they're just a little bit blah it seems like she nags him and he's just like blah no backbone they don't seem like the ideal couple but Maxis did upload onto the gallery their son as a separate download. Um, so you can get Iggy Pancakes. The whole family comes together and he's kind of described as the newest addition to the pancake stack. A charming toddler who's bringing a measure of harmony to the pancakes household. So to me, this means Maxis at least see the canon that this couple work things out. A child, having a child to save a relationship is not ideal, but it does kind of seem like that is what has happened. They've at least got something else to focus on rather than each other. You know, that's staple for a happy relationship so i feel like with these two they are incredibly blah i just never had the urge to play with them their clothes are blah their hair is blah their life is blah their house is blah their story is blah um but <laughs> i want to try and make them a little bit less blah now i'm not gonna change their traits obviously and i'm not gonna try not to mess with their genetics too much but you know this is me making over my sims so if i want to tweak them a little bit i will do and I will make them available to download. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put the Calientes available for you guys to download right now because I did do those last time. So let's go ahead and upload the spicy version of the uh, Calientes. There we go. Um, but I'm probably gonna take a little bit more liberties with these guys and try and imagine a little bit more going on with them just because, I don't know, I sort of find them a little bit dull. Just, just a little bit dull. And if their marriage works out, in my head, I like to think that they both worked at it. They both kind of, I don't know, pull themselves out their rut enough at least to uh have a trial together okay bob let's go ahead and use my irons for you i'm gonna go for i think i'm gonna go for the darker brown i really like those eyes i'm gonna knock off your facial hair and hair fin oh gee okay i don't think i've ever seen him without his facial hair before okay i'm gonna do a few little tweaks i am however gonna keep his ears because um i really like the ears and then skin details okay so i changed his side profile slightly i made his nose a little bit bigger and more prominent i changed his eyebrow area to give like a little bit more of a deeper bit here and his eyes were set kind of far back but his brow was also set far back so i've brought both of those forward just a touch i also moved his eyes further apart i've just done it a little bit more still i currently have the v skin on him which i think is cute i'm also by the way planning on doing like a cc series which is like here is the skin i use here is how it looks on here's the links in the description here's the ones that i like here's how i combine them and then doing one for hair and then doing one for like clothes i like and all that kind of thing so let me know if you guys are interested in that i'm also kind of digging this one on him oh it depends how realistic i want to go but i do like that i also like this though am i gonna try and make bob pancakes hot yes i am 
<laughs> at least to my preferences. That's kind of how I do these sims. Okay, I, I think I'm gonna god skin or pancakes. <laughs> there is uh, a sentence I did not think I was gonna be saying this morning. I think I'm gonna throw some god skin on him. Okay, work with me. I'm gonna add some more features back on him. I like this blush for darker skin tones because I don't know if you can tell, but it adds like a tiny touch of blush to the tops of the ears. And I just think that's kind of cute. Although now I've just put the Arnold skin on him. No, I don't know because I like that too. Hmm. Okay, I've added his GS overlay. I'm gonna add a nose overlay. And I feel like this skin it's great, but it's kind of, you've lost the shape of his nose a little bit. So I just want to like accentuate his nose a little like this. Yeah, I think that looks good. And then I, I didn't make his lips more upturned to make them more happy. But what I might do instead, let me just try this skin real quick. No, no, no. I like this one. Um, I'm going to give him slight little mouth smiles that, like, you know, He's got a son now. I'm imagining this as maybe a future Bob Pancakes or one where their marriage is better, okay? In fact, I'm gonna go to his likes and dislikes and I'm gonna add some of the features that she has that I think he likes, like glasses. And obviously he likes cooking. I'm rooting for them, basically. I am gonna be the one person that's rooting for the pancake. Lies is quite skinny. I'm gonna say his body weight preferences for lights. There you go. I'm trying for you, babes. I'm also gonna get you out this rig out real soon. Okay, so we've got his skin details done. I'm gonna switch out for some more realistic lips. So it's just like that, but a little bit less intense. There we go. And then I think he's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna add a few eye shines next. Make those pretty brown eyes pop. Brown eyes being best eye color. And then, okay, let's have a look at his facial hair. So he had a pretty, you know, beardy beard before. Um, It kind of looks like Makoa. How, how have I done that? I do not know. So I want to make sure that he's got a good beard afterwards too. I do like these ones because they have the same hair texture that he has. But I don't want to add a mustache to him. And I don't have a version of this without a mustache, unfortunately. And I just don't think he's... I don't think he's so in the mustache. I don't know. So I'm going to either go here or here. I mean, what did he have before? Did he have a mustache before? Why can't I remember what he looks like? I'm going to add, here we go, the updated version of the pancakes. Oh, he does have a mustache, but it's like a really thick one, isn't it? Oh my gosh, everyone hates Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so much hate in the comments. Although there's a few people hating on Elias. Just like, okay, people really hate this family. But then they've also been downloaded almost 700,000 times. So that just proves the more love and popularity you get, the more haters you get. Like you ain't getting 700,000 downloads if people don't like you, you know? Okay, so this this is Bob, right? So maybe I can go for this kind of one instead because it, it would be the right hair texture. Okay, I shall have a thing. And for now, let's throw some hair on him. I mean, I feel like I could definitely make him look very not Bob, but definitely, oh my God. I've just made hot pancakes. I've completely, I feel like I've lost the essence of Bob, but he looks so much better. I don't know. This is going to be actually really hard. Like how, how, I've never used that hair before. How hot do I make Bob, guys? How, how hot is too hot to not be canon? I didn't mean to do this. This just kind of happened. Maybe I should keep his hair short so he looks a little bit more like OG Bob. Although now you know that the potential is there and it's great. Do I have anything similar to his OG hair? But alpha. I don't think I do. I have like a shaved head. I do have like a lot of black hair, but I don't have any like short, short hair. Hmm. I don't want to use Maxis. This is probably the shortest one that I have. This is by XX Black Sims. Or I could go for something like this instead. I'd rather risk like changing up his parents a little bit and going for a hair that I think suits our redesign a little bit more. And I feel like it's one of these ones. I want to keep his ears on show because I want to... If you've got like such cute ears, I feel like I want to put a piercing in them. I just do. Although he is meant to be dad. Does dad have ear piercing maybe not no i think i'm gonna scratch the ear piercing also all my ear piercings are doubles which sucks because sometimes i just want to do one piercing okay so <laughs> definitely changed him up quite a lot but um how do we dress him he's kind of dressed like are you camping are we camping currently is your house a campsite because you are dressed ready for the wilderness i'm sure you've got swiss army knives a compass a ruler and fold up fishing rod and everything in these cargo pants but as i often say to my dad when he wears these these cargo pants do you really need to be that prepared 
all the time. I've, I look in your pockets. There's nothing in them. Why do you need this many pockets? Why do they need to be so big? Why are the pants so ugly? So I will be removing the pants. And I want to just dress him. I want to keep, like, you know, he's got dad bod. I want to keep the dad vibes. I want him to, like, look, dress and look like he's, like, you're, like kick, picking his kids up from school or, like, taking them, like, to the ball game at the weekend. I don't know. What do dads do? I'm, I'm not even a mother. So I do want him to have that, like, safe dad energy about him. But just, like, you know, a less tragic version. So I think I'm going to go for this first one that I tried on just because it does have very strong dad energy. I mean, it looks fine. It looks great. And then we'll just throw on some trousers for him. I could give him cool versions of his trousers, but I think it's not Bob, is it? It's a bit not Bob. We've got daddy jeans instead. I mean, they're literally called daddy jeans. <laughs> I have made him quite daddy. I apologize in advance for that. Um, I was kind of seeing, do I have any cargo pants to give him instead? Like I took away his cargo pants. Can I give him some CC ones back? But believe it or not, I've never downloaded CC cargo pants because, uh, oh no, I have pockets. But I don't know if I want to reintroduce the car. We just got him out the cargo pants. Let's not put him like straight back into the cargo pants. And most definitely not cargo shorts. These are literally my dad's shorts. Me and my mom keep trying to delete them from his life, but they always worm their way back into the holiday suitcase. Oh, I literally have fully cargo pants. Imagine all of the useless stuff you could put in these pockets. I won't do it though. I'm going to move this man out of stretchy cotton blend and into stretchy denim blend. Oh my gosh, look, the minute I put those on, look at, look at his posture change. Bam, instant better posture. And then I'm going to put some little trainers on him. I feel like he could be a Vans kind of guy. And there we go. You know how to do it to them. I made Bob kind of hot. <laughs> I apologize, but I, I did. I'm looking at the hair again and wondering whether I should tie it up. I really like that style in him. It just suits his features so well. What do you reckon? Too much. Would he go to all this and put King on the side of his head? I don't think he would. And I thickened out his beard and I switched his hair up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Bob is done. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the uh, Bob Pancakes remake in the comments below. And we're going to move on swiftly to Eliza. Now, Eliza, I don't mean to alarm you, but your husband is now a catch and you are wearing lime green um, and flip flops. So obviously we've got some work to do. Uh, don't worry. I've got you. We will make you guys a match made in heaven. Although you probably never will be because of your traits. But you know, you can like things about Bob as well. Maybe you, maybe you like eating really good food. Is that a, a hobby? Can I make that a hobby? Or maybe you like facial hair. Maybe you like a bit of facial hair. Do you like generic clothes? Well, there needs to be more hobbies and skills. Because I feel like fine dining is a hobby. Um, But it's not on here. But maybe, you know, she loves eating great food and people that care about cooking nice food and bob does you know there could be these little little things about them that actually really work out so here is eliza pancakes i can already tell i'm probably gonna have to change that brow shape um because it's it's a difficult one for cc brows they're just not really gonna conform too well to that shape and eliza is a redhead which i already know in advance is gonna make finding cc head difficult because a lot of um cc creators just don't make swatches for redheads, which is incredibly annoying. But I have searched far and half, uh, far and wide and managed to find a few. Let's have a little look at your appearance. Her eyes were very like high up her head. So I've just switched that up a little bit because I can't like, it wasn't matching her ears. I don't like this default eye shape. I find it really difficult to work with. But if I change her eyes, I feel like it's just going to like change her whole appearance a little bit too much. And I don't want to do that. Although this one, it, it puts so much shadow on the top of the eye because of the eye defaults that I use. I don't know. I might change the eyes. I'm going to just throw on some skin details. And see if, okay. Yeah. Th so this is kind of what I was thinking in my head that if I use this symbiont skin overlay it kind of like balances out her face a little bit more i also like i was surprised when she didn't have freckles no she does have freckles i was gonna say like i was looking at her face and i'm like i swear you have freckles she does which means that this skin is gonna be kind of perfect for her so this skin comes in a bunch of different versions you can get it with monolidded you can get it without freckles but we obviously want to keep the freckles and keep the lidded version too i'm gonna pop some lashes on her look at these huge lashes <laughs> I actually think she suits like a 
smaller lash. Something like that looks quite pretty. Okay. And then we'll pop a little blush on her cheeks. Oh, too much. Nice. And while I usually go for this ready version of the GS, I actually think with her, the pink one is kind of a vibe. It suits her like green eyes a lot. And I'm kind of deciding whether to go for like that no shape, which looks cute from the front, but it doesn't make that much sense for her no shape from the side. Or neither does that one, to be honest. Okay, I think I'm going to go for that one. And I'm kind of wondering whether to put these Go Pulse Me eyelid overlays. Just because her eyelids are like really big. And this kind of brings that back a little bit. Let me just look at OG Eliza once more. Yeah, she does have really big eyelids. Okay. Now, Eliza doesn't have a bunch of makeup on, so I don't want to put like loads on and it not look like her anymore. But I might put just some like little subtle pinks. Just like a little bit like this. Under eyelids. Eyelashes, yay or nay. It does make her eyes look freaking huge. Um... But is it a little bit much? These are obscurus eyelashes. They're really good. They don't usually look this extreme, but I think it's just because she's got really... Her eyelid space is big. So her bottom eyelids and top eyelids are really big with the eye shape that she's got. So I kind of want to... Why not accentuate them? It's not a feature you often get. I'm going to pop this blush. CC03 from Go Pulse Me again. She's she's getting a lot of Go Pulse Me stuff. It just suits her. Like, look at that. That looks so pretty as well. This is by Remersion. So pretty. Okay. I'm liking that a lot. I might go for a little bit of a less intense brow. And then, okay, so we need red haired bob. This is the bit that's going to be really difficult. Because this, no. That you could probably get away with. Okay, keep that one in mind. That's kind of cute as well. Okay, I'm making her cute. She's looking adorable right now. Cute. Again, it's just my favorite. I love Nightcrawler hairs. I just love how they all just so perfect looking. This structured vibes, I don't think it's suit in the shape of a face. <gasps> or something like that. That looks so pretty. And I feel like as well, like I would never be able to blow dry my hair like so perfectly and make it look like that. It's just never going to happen. But Eliza is a perfectionist. So I kind of feel like she could. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep the perfectly blow dried hair. It makes sense for her personality. Let's pop her glasses on. This kind, this kind, this kind. I'm thinking these types. On. And okay, let's move on to her fashion. Or lack thereof. Okay, so it's kind of like a, the crop and the jeans. But she is like this neat, materialistic, mansion bar and business savvy. So I kind of want to sharpen up her dress a little bit. I don't know. I just feel like she was dressed very casually before, but she clearly wants all of this stuff. I don't know. Dress for like who you where you want to go, not where you are right now, you know? Although the green, I was like, I can keep her color. This green suits her so much because of her hair. It looks so pretty and it brings out her eyes. I might keep this, but maybe go a little bit smarter in, on the bottom half. She actually looks really good in Buka jeans, <laughs> but they crop at the big clip at the back too much. Okay, then I kind of had to change direction because I put the skirt on her. The skirt with the top was like a little bit too grandma-ish and formal, I guess. But then if you put it on with like a little top and went for for like some Bali pump type dealios or even some like high heel boots. And then we put some like nail polish on her like this. That could look pretty cute. Like I wanna like, I feel like they both look a lot trendier now. Um, they both seem like they've got a bit more personality, I guess. I'm gonna put the little like key necklace with the heart on it. Like it's a gift from Bob. Maybe when they found out they were pregnant and he's like, you'll always have the key to my heart. I don't know. I just wanna root for them. Okay, I just do. I still think they look like, you know, they're very different traits wise. And even before, they had kind of like very different energy and I still think they've got very different energy but I can kind of see them both like being a couple even though they seem quite different like he's a lot more relaxed she's a lot more like straight laced but she's meant to be she's a neat perfectionist materialistic like she's gonna be quite put together and he is a slob um gloomy loner so like I feel like their clothes represent them still but they just match their traits a little bit more now let me know what you guys think so this is updated Eliza. I think she looks so freaking cute now. Absolutely adorable. Let me know what you guys think. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and give Izzy, uh, Iggy, sorry, Iggy Pancakes a go. Who is there, depending on whether you downloaded them or not. I guess they're like non-canon child. Now, I'm not going to change the facial features of the kid. Um, I have no idea how the kid ends up growing up anyway. Um, I am going to go for these eyes. Unfortunately, they do have the line underneath, which is frustrating. But it's a mixture of the brown from um, Bob and and the green from Eliza. I'm just gonna, I don't like that line underneath, so I'm gonna push his eyes up to hide the lines because I don't like seeing it. There we go. And I guess this kid will have the DNA of the previous parents without my meddling, without my messing and meddling, uh, but that's fine. Um, you know, we just wanna CC up the toddler, you know, just so that it's a little matching set. All of the family together. Plus I'm including Iggy because I think after their CC remake, you know, this couple make it, they do make it. And so, it only
totally seems right that Iggy gets included because um, them, oh gosh, no, them making it is why Iggy exists. And he has his dad's hair, I believe. So, mm, I don't like the edge of this one. Closest to his cannon hair. Well, He's only canon if you add him to his ga your game, I guess. Um, but we could give him the hair that I was going to give his dad. Like this kind of dealio, which is really cute. And then, I mean, I'm just going to like redo his clothes just because everyone's dressed alpha. And I don't want him to feel left out, okay? And I gave him a little purple outfit just because I thought it was kind of cute. I don't know. I like that a lot. So that is my remake of what I'm assuming is meant to be. It's like, it's meant to be a parody, isn't it? Of like how it feels to me so much like how most relationships are shown on TV, particularly like from 90s couples. You've got like, you know, le like what's seen as like a lazy husband, no motivation, gets pushed around and nugged by like his, for some reason, like more driven, hotter wife type thing. Um... And I feel like Sims, you know, it does poke fun at popular culture or did in the early games and kind of had a little bit of fun with this trope. Um, I feel like it spiraled into a bunch of people hating them both for um, a myriad of reasons. But I think they're both meant to be kind of flawed. Like, you know, he's clearly, I think Bobby's kind of shown as somebody that's meant to be maybe a little bit depressed and anxious, um, but it's impossible to try and show these things well on Sims. So as a result, he just ends up like lazy and gloomy. Whereas Eliza is meant to be someone who's like driven on uh very meticulous i guess or more, more meticulous and a perfectionist and so is seen as constantly nagging bob um but i guess it's just frustrations in a relationship where i can imagine if you're a couple and you've got like a lazy spouse that never helps and does anything then that would get really frustrating but then the deeper story is is it just normal laziness or does he have other like potential like issues going on that need addressing like this is why you can't deep the sims you know it is just like meant to be a bit of a popular like they almost feel like marge and homer simpson a little bit too me, I think. But let me know what you think of my remakes of them. Do you like my updated Bob? Uh, <laughs> my hot Bob. I think he's now hot Bob. I just think he is. And my updated Eliza. Let me know in the comments below. And also the little offspring, the final stack of the pancakes, who is, of course, Iggy Pancake. I will make them all available to download. So let me know what you thought of them in the comments below and which family you want me to do next. Make sure you go ahead and comment that right now. And I'll see you guys in another the video. Bye!